Before SSL.com may issue an organization validated OV or individual validated IV certificate that includes information like the name of a company or a person, their address or trademark information, we must first confirm that the information is accurate. To help speed up this process, applicants should supply specific documentation that can be used to verify the information that will appear in the certificate. Extended validation EV certificates represent a higher standard of internet trust and have additional documentation requirements and restrictions. This video will let you know the information you need to supply to SSL.com when ordering OV, IV, and EV certificates. Documents and photographs may be uploaded via your SSL.com user account, while information like website links may be provided to SSL.com support staff via an email to support at SSL.com or by using the chat link on our website. Let's start with organization validation and individual validation. The SSL.com certificates covered by these validation types include High Assurance SSL, Wildcard SSL, Multi-Domain UCC SAN SSL, Personal Pro Email and Client Auth, Business Identity Email, Client Auth and Document Signing, Code Signing, and NASB Client Certificates. For these types of certificates, businesses and other organizations may submit a link to an online government database that confirms that the organization was legally registered in their local jurisdiction and that it remains in good standing, or a link to a reliable third-party data source that has detailed company information such as the name, address, and contact information. Examples include Dun and Bradstreet, Hoover's, Better Business Bureau, Companies House for UK businesses. You can also check the URL on the screen for a longer list of example reliable data sources that may be used to confirm the company information. In most cases, businesses and organizations will not need to upload documents to their order, but can simply provide a URL to SSL.com support staff. You can submit your link via an email to support at SSL.com or by using the chat link in the lower right corner of the SSL.com website. SSL.com may request additional documentation for some orders. We appreciate your assistance and will notify you if and when it is needed. Organization validation also requires a successful voice or SMS contact to a validated telephone number. Once your organization's telephone number has been verified by SSL.com, the Perform Callback link will be activated. To perform an OV callback, Navigate to the Documents link in your certificate order, then click the Perform Callback link. Enter your email address and then click the Send button. When you receive the email, click the link it contains. After clicking the link, a callback verification form will open in your web browser. If you are not logged into your SSL.com user account, you will be prompted to log in first. You can get an immediate callback by selecting Callback Now from the drop-down menu, choosing SMS or Call, then clicking the Call Now button. A verification form will appear. When you receive your call or text message, it will include a numeric code. Enter the code into the form and click the Verify Phone button to complete the callback verification. For full instructions on OV callbacks, including scheduling callbacks and requesting a manual callback, please visit this page on the SSL.com website. To validate the identity of an individual person, please provide the following. A scan of a valid, government-issued photo ID card or passport ID page. The ID number may be obscured, but we must be able to see the name, address, date of birth, and photograph of the individual. A photograph of the individual holding the government-issued ID next to their face so that the individual's face may be compared with the image on the ID. The photograph should be at least 5 megapixels. Most current smartphones can provide an image of 5 megapixels or greater. Extended validation, or EV certificates, represent a higher standard of internet trust and require some additional steps by the applicant. 
EV certificates may only be issued to businesses or other registered organizations, not to individual persons. SSL.com currently offers the following EV certificates. Enterprise EV SSL, Enterprise EV Multi-Domain UCC SAN SSL, EV Code Signing. Applicants for EV certificates should submit the following to SSL.com. A signed copy of the EV Subscriber Agreement, a signed copy of the EV Authorization Form, one of the following items to verify that your business or organization is operational and that all individuals named in the subscriber agreement and request form are ranking members of the organization. Your company's Dun & Bradstreet number. An attestation letter from a licensed professional, attorney, accountant, or civil law slash Latin notary. A business profile from another qualified information source, such as Open Corporates. For links to the subscriber agreement, authorization form, and sample letters, as well as more information about the EV process, please visit this page on the SSL.com website. Like OV, EV requires a callback step. However, unlike the automated OV callbacks, EV callbacks must be performed manually by SSL.com staff. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope it has been helpful. If you have any questions about ordering certificates from SSL.com, please email us at support at SSL.com or use the chat link on the SSL.com website. Our website's knowledge base, located at www.ssl.com info, also includes answers to many questions you may have about ordering and working with digital certificates.